guys welcome back to another market breakdown video and then on today's video we're looking at the dxy euro usd gbp usd usd jpy and aud cat so previously on the dxy we were looking for this uh push to the upside just because we had this double bottom area and then we had a pattern but then a pattern around this area here uh if i switch to the four hour you'll see the area whereby we were looking for those uh, pushes to the upside we had this descending channel within the descending channel and then we push to the upside now we are currently in this point here and then we still expect the market to push to the upside even though we got like this uh, mini double bottom trying to happen around this point here and then we get the sell off from here we're just going to analyze each and everything uh, neutral and then we're just going to wait and see what happens around this point and then if I push back this uh, trend line here you'll see that we are trying to create like some type of a larger flag around this point and then if we switch to an hour chart that is where you'll see everything clearly and then on the hour we have two touches at the bottom on this larger flag and then we have two touches at the top so ideally we are still looking for those buying opportunities and then we can have an override line around that point whereby if we get like those selling opportunities up to here we have a mini double bottom over right around this point then that is when we can look for those continuations to the upside on the dxy so so far on the dxy everything is still okay and then if you look left you'll see that we have this push up corrective move push up larger corrective move in the right areas just because if i push back this trend line here you'll see that we are still intact the price action is still intact and then we can expect the larger flag to clearly push to the upside we are just gaining momentum around this point to clearly push back to the upside around this point if you are trading the dxy then that is when you can look for those buying opportunities your stop loss is just below for a risk entry and then you're targeting the highs back to the four hour you are targeting this area here for your overall target at around 17 percent if you're trading the dxy so looking at euro usd well, let's start on the higher time frame the weekly since the market is not open yet so let me refresh and what you'll see is that we have this mass psychology area and then we have this one at the top of the structure sorry about that we have this one at the top of the structure and then we have the overall low around this point and then moving to a daily time frame that is where you'll see that we have this ascending channel around this area and then I'll just refine it on the lower time frames if it needs refining so we have this ascending channel around this point like this and then we had this mass psychology activation and then we had a candlestick over right as you can see here we have this engulfing candlestick pattern in the right area and then moving to a four hour time frame that is where I'll try and refine everything if it needs refining so what I'll do is that I'll just try and focus on the current market structure or the current touches like this then we have two touches three touch two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom and then we had this break of structure around this point so I'll just remove the ray line and then put another line at the top just like this just to cater for that push back to the upside if we try and get like create a double top before pushing back to the downside so everything is catered for and then let me just remove these and then we have a pattern within a pattern around this point just like this so what we're looking for on uh, euro usd if we correlate with if we correlate it with the dxy we are looking for selling opportunities since uh, the dxy is pushing to the upside so on the hour chart let me just cater for the 90 percent and then let me just remove this one and then on the hour chart we had like a few entries uh, on the way to the downside this one here for a tight flag as you can see it's a flat flag and then you can take like entries like this your sell stop just below and then you're targeting the lows as always or the 90 percent rule so now we are currently in this area here that is where we're just going to um, forecast each and every entry that we're going to take so so far we are currently in the 
green zone just because we just broke this entry we just broke this trend line around this point here so we are still in the green zone so what we can have is a larger flag a larger flag is possible to happen around this point here so already we have formed this type of price action whereby we have an expanding and then we have two touches at the top and at the bottom so what we expect what we are expecting is for us to get like the third touch around this area here or an override and then we can take the long term sell stop loss just above this area and then you're targeting this as your first target for 5.6 and then the overall target is at the 90 percent around the lows around this point for about 29 percent uh, i think it's 39 39 let me just do this just make sure that everything is visible it's 39 percent uh, let me just do this 30 pip stop for 27 percent a 30 pip stop would be okay like in this setup and then another scenario whereby if you are uh, into low risk entries what you can wait for is this type of descending channel has already formed up you can just wait for the push to the upside that touch first tight flag around this point that is when you can take the entry and then your sell stop just below this area here and your stop loss is just above this area let me just remove the circle and let me just do this then you have your first tight flag just like this and then you are targeting the overall first target 1.6 percent overall target 17 percent of which is still okay for you to take like the setup and then moving to gbp usd let me just refresh everything so on gbp usd on the weekly chart also so on the weekly we have this high point this high point and then we have this low point around here and we have this week creation as our low point and then on the daily chart we have the same price action that we had like on euro usd we have this ascending price action around here we have this one here and then we had like uh, a pattern separation that is forming up around that point then we have this low creation as a 90 percent and then we had this mass psychology activation two mass psychology mass psychology activations like in this point of which it's a good sign for us to look for those selling opportunities and then if you push this trend line back you'll see that we had a double top happening also around this point and then on the lower time frame what i'll do is that i'll just pattern separate and then we had momentum in our side around this point which is a good sign also so i'll just uh, clean the charts around this area and then on the four hour on the four hour let me just pattern separate everything make sure that everything is still intact this is a pattern on its own also around here and we had the double top we had the ascending channel around here like this pattern on its own and then we have this clear push to the downside then we have this flag trying to form up so what i'll do is that i'll just try and analyze it on the a higher time frame and then see it on the hour chart and see if we can just refine everything so we have this larger flag trying to form up same as euro usd and then let's look at the hour so on the hour what i'll do is that i'll just focus on this touch here and then make sure that i'm catering for the right areas so we have some type of an ascending channel trying to form up whereby it can just correct to the upside just in this type of fashion then we reach the third touch after reaching the third touch then that is when we can look for those selling opportunities from here to the downside then we have our first uh, 90 percent for this pattern and then what i'll do is that i'll put another ray line at the top of the structure just to have like that uh override if it happens if we get like this mass psychology activation at the top of the structure just because it happens often we can also look for those selling opportunities around the lows of which is around here for our first tight flag 
instead of having like a risk entry then you can have this type of fashion of an entry of which is a tight flag and then you saw your stop loss is just above this area first so target let's target the third touch 90 percent and then we know that we are trying to swing the like the overall uh, trades that we are taking for 19 percent if you're taking this type of setup and then looking at usdjpy and then if we look back and try and correlate everything <coughs> as long as the dxy is pushing to the upside it means that like uh, pairs like usdjpy will be pushing to the upside usd uh, chf will be pushing to the upside as long as uh, usd is the first uh, is the first is the code currency then you are looking for those uh buying opportunities so on the weekly we had this low here we had this lowest point of which is here then we have the highest point it's here around this area here and then if you look left you'll see that we have momentum in our favor as you can see this is a long push to the upside this could be the corrective move to clearly continue uh, pushing to the upside so let's remove everything and then on the daily on the daily we had this mass psychology activation of which is pretty clear to us just because price action was moving in a form of a descending channel up until we reach that mass psychology activation then we got a clear push to the upside of which is corrective like on the lower time frame but this is a clear push to the upside that we can use and then let's uh, clear everything and then look at the lower time frames we remove this and then this is a loop that we can also focus on just because we can get like the last leg push into the downside before we get that push to the upside that we are expecting so much so let's move to a uh, four hour time frame then the reason I push to a four hour time frame is because we don't have like a ETS structure so what we'll do is that we just focus on the current price action of which it's here we have this type of price action in a form of a descending channel around this point and then we had that corrective uh, push to the upside up until we had momentum kicking in into the markets then we have this corrective move here so let me just do this let me just do this make sure that I'm separating each and everything this is a pattern on its own here And then uh, let's switch to an hour time frame so on the hour time frame you'll see that we had this push to the upside breaking this descending channel here very impulsively of which it's convincing for us to look for those continuations to the upside so I removed the ray line as you can see and then we have this larger flag that has already formed up around this point so in this case what I do is that most of the time you'll get that you have a tight flag forming up around this point whereby you can look for those buying opportunities at the top of the structure just like this you, your your buy stop is just above and then your stop loss is just below and then you're targeting the markets to clearly push to the upside and take you into the trade so this is another entry that I take or initially I wait for a clear push to the outside and then this is the tight flag that I wait for six to eight hours and then it must be flat flat and then you have your entry just above this point stop loss just below the area and then you're targeting the 90 percent the 90 percent or the overall highs so we are go we are just going to target like the overall 90 percent for about 9.6 percent of which is okay so this is the tight flag scenario that we have and then if you look left you'll see that we have this corrective move here push to the upside first corrective move from this larger impulsive leg here so we are looking for those continuations to the upside and then let's look at a UDCAD of which it's our last uh, setup so on a UDCAD I'll start on the weekly then you can see that we have a clear mass psychology activation in a form of a double top around this point here and then we have the lows around here and then if you look left you'll see that we had a higher low and a lower low formation 
then you can see that this is also a higher low higher low here higher higher lower low here and then we have another we have equal lows here so of which a equal lows create like a double top and then we have that mass psychology activation so let me just remove a few of these and then we can uh, move to the lower time frames so let me just put them back the double top formation the lowest point the daily so on the daily we had this mass psychology activation of which it's nice and then we have the ascending channel around this point just like this and then we had like a break of structure as you can see around this area here and it's very impulsive so let's move to a four hour time frame so on the four hour we have this nice ascending channel and then it seems like we have like a pattern but then a pattern around this point so what i'll do is that i'll not draw like the other trend line around here just because already we have another one at the bottom so it's useless for me to draw another one so i'll just put like a ray line at the top of the structure and then as you can see on the four hour we have a push down a corrective leg a push down a corrective leg a push down so clearly the market is moving in the right direction very nicely very structurally as we always wanted to do and then on the hour chart that is where we do like our forecasting and all of that good stuff so let me just do this make sure that everything is nice then i think we have a pattern around this point here just like this okay and then we have another pattern around this point here just like this then we had our first tight flag around this area here as you can see tight flags work very nicely if you find them like in the right places then you have the first tight flag stop loss just above six percent six point five and then maybe you would have been like tagged out in some certain profits and then we have this ascending channel on its own here and then as you can see we are at the 90 percent of this ascending channel around this point and then this simply means that we can have a larger flag trying to form up whereby we get like a price action creating like a larger flag let me just try and illustrate the larger flag that i'm expecting on this one let's say we have this type of price action forming up then it means that we are just going to evolve each and everything that we have uh, analyzed and then we have this type of pattern forming up whereby can, let me just remove this whereby we look for those selling opportunities on a larger scale with a risk entry just like this then you target the lows and you target like the overall lows of which it's around this year this area here for about 36 percent if your stop loss is too tight but if it's a bit large then the reward will be less also as you can see 21 from 39 percent and then if you are into like uh, low risk entries then you can just wait for the first push to the downside and then the first tight flag and you take your entry just below your stop loss is just above and then the scenario that i also have of which is the last one is initially this one here whereby we get a clear push to the downside clearing the slow here then you get the first tight flag around this area here same as the other one that are the other ones that you get like at the top of the structure same as this one here but we expect it to just do this let me just do this i'll show you we expect it to break the low just like this clear the lows after clearing the low then you can take it below the structure just like this then this is your first tie flag stop loss just above this area so that you don't get tagged out unnecessarily and then you look for those pushes up until the downside of which is here still at around 20 percent same as the one that you are targeting in this area here so you can just wait for uh, one of them and then you can execute so i'll see you on another video click the like button subscribe button and comment your favorite uh, entry that you're going to take like this coming week